This is no ordinary topwater. Check this out. It has a large, elongated blade in the midsection that creates a lot of turbulence and noise. When it's in the water, it really comes to life. A tremendous amount of bubbles, flash, and vibration. The magic to the mischief minnow really comes in this elongated blade. One thing that's clear is these cut angles in the blade creates a lot of flash and vibration. Available in two sizes, both cast well on traditional casting gear or spinning. I achieved long casts with 15 pound line and a six and a half foot rod. If you wanted longer, I would switch to spinning. Action was easy with a 6.2 to 1 gear ratio and I didn't really have to burn it. I would work it back to the boat on a steady retrieve and it seemed great. This bait seems ideal for looking for fish that are scattered or you're just covering new water. Even with two treble hooks, it came through light grass fairly easy. This bait is a very sharp looking bait. A lot of attention to detail and it has two Kamigatsu treble hooks. One thing that I liked that it had more of a finesse look, but you could change that because there is color options where the blade and the body are very contrasting. It works great on a steady retrieve, but I tried to give it a little bit more action by popping the rod tip or speeding up the reel and I got some great commotion and popping action that's commonly found in a traditional topwater. One thing I did notice is that the blade comes in contact with the rear treble. I know this is intended to help increase the noise and erratic motion, but I'm worried that it will damage the hooks. One recommendation I'll pass along is on those long casts, keep the rod tip up and give it a couple fast cranks. This way the bait will be running smoothly and causing all that commotion right from the very beginning. You can lower the rod tip as the bait nears the boat for optimum performance.